Hey, all you zealots and zerglings, it's time for game one between Wolfpack, the yellow Protoss, and Contrarian, the green Protoss. If you have forgotten, this is the Three West Classic, the little tournament that I put together between my buddies. And this is game one between these two fine players. And as always, map or game one is going to be played on Zelnaga Caverns. Which is a very, very common 1v1 map and interesting in its own right. You don't actually have a lot of two-player maps for, for 1v1. And this is one of the few ones. Let's get a production tab so we can see what's going on. It looks like we got a pylon down here for Contrarian on... What was that? 9? 10? I think that was 9. And Wolfpack does not have his... Ooh, does not have his first pylon. Oh, nope, there it is. I'm sorry. There's his first pylon. Then right at his front door, which could be a bit risky, but he's going against another Protoss, so I don't think the Protoss have any early units. They're going to do a lot of damage to this. You know, Stalkers could snipe it, especially if they get down here and get some sight of the high ground, they could snipe it. So that could be a problem. He's going to want to make sure he gets a second pylon in here to power any buildings he's got going here. But I don't really think he has to worry about walling off so much. Because it's not something that usually happens in PvP. Although, you know, if we see a 4 gate, then you never know what could happen. It looks like they're getting their gateways down at about the same time. It looks like Wolfpax is slightly ahead, but it looks like Contrarian decided to get an extra probe first. So he cut, he, uh, Wolfpack cut a probe to get out an earlier gate. May not be how he looked at it. He might have looked at it as like, oh, it's time to get my gateway, so let's do that. Oh, and Contrarian getting his first gas. We don't have any gas. Oh, no, we do have some gas going out from Wolfpack, so still similar builds, although the timings are a bit off from each other. We'll see if that plays into it later on in the match. As Contrarian does still have that probe lead, and he's using copious energy on getting out more probes, which will help him a lot. But Wolfpack is also keeping his energy fairly low on his Nexus. And getting, ooh, getting the double gas. And is he going to be getting out his cybernetics core? I'm guessing. And yep, there goes down the cybernetics core. And did we already have the core down? No, we do. Contrarian is just getting his cybernetics core down too. The timing on these just about identical, so they are pretty close builds. Except I think Wolfpack is going to have a second gas out sooner. And Contrarian though is getting a bit of a lead in in the unit count now. He's pumping out his first zealot. We don't have any units yet for Wolfpack. Oh, no, he's always oh, getting his L out, but he's supply blocked. That is unfortunate. Did not think ahead and get his pylon in time, so that Zealot is going to be delayed. Not necessarily a big deal, other than it's going to delay his his, ar his round of units, and if an attack comes from Contrarian, he might be behind in the unit count. Let's see how that makes a, takes a, an effect, and getting, oh, he's getting his warp gate research down just a hair for Contrarian, who's now getting out his first Stalker. I'm not sure what kind of builds they're going. You might almost want to think about getting out a Sentry here. Just in case you run up into any 4-gate aggression, you can force field the ramp, give, your give yourself a chance to get out another round of units before, uh, before you got units in your base. But that takes an awful lot of micro, too. And we'll, we'll see what these players are made of. And we're getting two more gates now for Wolfpack, so that should be... If my math is adding right up, uh, 1 plus 2 does equal 3, so that will be three gates. Is he going to go for a fourth gate, or maybe going to go into a three-gate expansion? And we are getting a robo-facility out of... Out of Contrarian. What is that structure? Oh, we're both getting a robo-facility, but... Three-gate robo on one base, that is a bit much, Wolfpack. You are going to have to cut out a lot of units in order to get that to work, or get an expansion up really quickly. Still only one gate for Contrarian, so it could turn out Wolfpack's going to have the bigger army size, but he's not really producing anything right now, and he always supply block again. He's got to keep ahead of those pylons, maybe throw another one down right now, because... Look at this, if a second that pylon goes down, is he still he's gonna be making a probe and a zealot, that is already three, and if he does any units out of here, that's gonna be seven right there. He needs to throw down another pylon now, because if he starts producing at all these gates, he's gonna use up that cap right away. Oh, plus he's got the robo out now, so he needs to get out another pylon now, and no, he's gonna throw down a twilight council. He needs to get out another pylon, or he's gonna quickly He's going to quickly find himself supply capped again. And he's getting out an observer. But so is Contrarian. Contrarian's observer is almost complete, so he will see what's going on in Wolfpack's base. 
We check the income tab right now, and it looks like Contrarian does have a heavily in harvesters. Nobody has expanded yet. That's very interesting. And now he's dropping down a couple more gateways, so we are both going to be on three gate robo, which I really don't like on two base. And it looks like warp gate technology is now finishing up for both players, so they will be able to get their warp gates converted. And oh, his warp gate's finished, but he's going to make another zealot. He did not convert that to warp gate, and so that's going to be an extra 38 seconds that he's not going to have that warp gate technology. But Wolfpack is going to get his units, or is going to get his warp gates out. And yeah, he's got to send out Observer out to do something, and he's getting Zealot Charge, which I don't know if you often see that in a PvP, you get a Zealot Charge, which will do fine against this Immortal. This Immortal is currently worthless right now because we have no Stalkers out on the field. Let's hope he's going to go for Colossus Tech soon, but yeah, he's there. Now he's going to get his expansion, which he really desperately needs right now. Throwing a pile on the low ground, probably maybe he's going to start building a wall off here. Maybe he just wants to be able to warp in units close to his base. And he did finally get his warp gates transformed. So he can start that unit production. Oh, and getting a Templar Archives for Wolfpack. So it looks like we're going to be going High Templar. I'm assuming he's going to get Storm. Feedback would not be at all useful here whatsoever. So I'm assuming he's going to be getting that Psy Storm as soon as that is ready. And now he's on five gates. Robo Facility is just lying dormant. Not getting Colossus Tech, not getting any Immortals. So this, if we check the units right now, we've got five zealots and a stalker for Wolfpack, three zealots and a stalker and an immortal, and two sentries for Contrarian. So he does have the sentries in there, which could play a huge battle. It could negate these zealots if he gets the force fields up before the before the zealot rush kicks in. Oh, but we're gonna move out right now for Contrarian. It looks like he's gonna be dropping a pile on here for reinforcements, and I don't know if he's gonna hold this off or not. He does have a decent force here. He's got to try to. He's got to try to keep the stalkers away from this immortal. And here comes the engagement. He's gonna hit this, and he's gonna. No, he's gonna pull back right away. Oh, you gotta pull back your unit, pull back your units. Don't wanna get. You don't wanna get kited away from your. Don't wanna kite part of your army away. And looks like he's just gonna poke in and pull back, which could be very good. Could force uh, Wolfpack to generate more units than he might be maybe want to. And Zealot Charge is now complete, which will let him get right on top of that army really quick. And. Oh, I was about to say, I saw yellow out there. That is just his observer. He's going to see the retreating army. And it looks like he's going to expand himself way late as opponent, which is going to be a problem because this base is now just getting saturated, pumping out more probes. So he is going to have a huge economic lead. It hasn't quite kicked in yet, but we're going to see it. Yeah, it is going to start shooting up right now, just skyrocketing. Plus, he's got a, an 8 harvester, 9 harvester lead on his opponent. So he is going to be in good shape. It was so good of him not to throw that army away, and now he's going to be economically strong and if uh, Wolfpack needs to start pumping out more probes to start getting him down here and I think he might want to use Chrono Boost on that. He's got full energy on the Nexus. He was doing so good using the energy before but now he's kind of falling behind. And we just see if anything's producing. Well, both you, both uh, Protoss are producing Immortals. Nobody has yet gotten their Colossus tech unless I missed it. Now we're going to get a Twilight Council for Contrarian. Is he going to go for Blink? Is he going to go for Charge? I would really expect to get him to get Blink here, which seems to be more typical for a PvP. Because the Charge isn't going to be... You, there's not really a lot of units you need to jump on top of in PvP. Maybe if you... Oh, and he's going to warp in some Stalkers here with his Proxy Pilot. And he's going to probably deny this expansion. This probe is going to try to get away. And well, he's going to try to move this army out. I think he'll be able to clean this up easily. And it looks like the reinforcements are coming. He's going to try to pull the Stalkers out of there. If the Zelts get on top of him, though... But now here come the reinforcing stalkers. He needs to pull back. Oh, and he's got a lot of stalkers there. You've got to be very, very careful. He's got to make sure to get the immortal on those stalkers. Oh, but he's got three immortals of his own. And this is going to be. Oh, I don't know if he's. I don't know if Wolfpack's got a bit of harm, but he's pulling in some reinforcements right now. Even looks like he's getting some probes in on the action. And oh, I don't think stalkers were a good choice here. He needs to get more zealots because there are three immortals here, and he needs to focus them down, or he's going to lose all his stalkers. And Guardian Shield is going to help tons. And here comes some reinforcing Zealots from Contrarian. And they're going to go for the expansion. And oh, this is looking really, really bad for Wolfpack. I don't think he can do anything right now. He's going to have to sack this expansion. And he Chrono Boost out these Warp Gates. He needs to get an army back up. Please do not just send these units out there to die. You need to sit in your base and rebuild your army as much as you possibly can before the, the attack inevitably comes. But he may not have much time. He needs to Chrono, chrono Boost out these Warp Gates because he does not have an army right now. And Contrarian has gotten back up to full strength after that engagement. And his Immortals are going to completely destroy his Stalkers. No, you need, you really need some Zealots here. Because those Immortals are going to complete. Oh, and it looks like Wolfpack is just 
cursing the day that he uh, he's just cursing the day. And yeah, he never got he never got an extra pylon there to power these buildings. So now this gate was dead. This yeah, this is not getting any upgrades, so that's not a huge deal. And I think that's Wolfpack's way. Of, I think that's the Wolfpack form of GG. Is he going to give the actual GG, or is he just going to sit there and watch his base get destroyed? That looks like. The, oh, and yeah, he didn't. There, Wolfpack is going to leave the game. So game one is going to go to Contrarian. Which means Wolfpack will get to pick the map for game two, so I hope you enjoyed game one between Wolfpack and Contrarian, and have a day.